Years ago, we set out to build a new Canada strong and free. And it is within our grasp to make that dream come true, to become a country that is as prosperous, as united, and as strong as it can be. The best country in the world, but always striving to be more. We have proceeded on the conviction that we must live within our means, make sound, long-term decisions, and reward those who work hard and play by the rules. Nous sommes allés de l'avant en sachant que nous devons vivre ce we move forward knowing that we play by the rules, we're making sensible decisions, long-term decisions, and reward people for hard work, and reward those people who play by the rules. In this world, someone must speak up for these values and have the will and the capacity to act so that these values are not mere sentiment. It is our purpose that Canada must be great, it must be great for all Canadians. It must be a country of hope and an example to the world. And only when it is these things, when Canada is all that it can be, only then can we say that our work is done. Good evening, everyone. Are you having fun? You're going to have even more fun later. Chers amis, chers amis, c'est un véritable plaisir de me... My dear friends, it's wonderful to be here with the Conservative family here in Calgary. With the Conservative family here in Calgary, Canada's great city on the bow. Now, friends, we all know what happened to Calgary and to much of southern Alberta this past June. Et nous nous souvenons des terribles événements. Remember those terrible events at Lac Megantic, which uh, stole pe people who are dear to so many families. Why these tragic events remain in our thoughts and prayers. Yet we were also inspired. Lorene saw what I saw. We were inspired by how Canadians responded to these disasters. Their courage, their generosity, and as you see here, their passion to rebuild through hell or high water, it makes you proud to be Canadian. Now, friends, some of you will remember that just a little over two years ago, we gathered here in Calgary. Canadians had just given us, come on, say it with me, a strong, stable, national majority conservative government. Canadians sent us to Ottawa with clear, clear instructions. To Ottawa with clear instructions. Create des emplois et protéger. Create jobs, protect our economy in an uncertain world. Protect our economy amid global uncertainty. Maintenir des taxes et des impôts bas. Keep taxes. Keep taxes low. Protect children and communities against criminals. From criminals. Defend our country. And for those who work strong, they pay their taxes and play by the rules. Country. For those who work hard, pay their taxes and play by the rules. Eh? My friends, that's what we do. What we've done day in and day out. We're facing tough choices. We're making the right decisions for Canada for the right reasons. And my friends, 
the results are clear. In a world in difficulty, in a world in difficulty, Canada is shining brightly. Rising. <laughs> Canada is rising, being steadily lifted by a rising tide. Our sound finances, our stable politics, our expanding network of trade relationships, our natural wealth, and the growing demand for it worldwide, and above all, the ingenuity of our people. These assets are now aligned and present a rare, a unique moment of national opportunity. Our Conservative government will not miss this tide. We will seize this moment. Nous allons assurer la prospérité des Canadiens. We're going to ensure the prosperity of Canadians today, for the, the current generation and for future generations. And for the generations to come. We Conservatives, we said what we're going to do, and we did it. We did what we said we'd do. Say what we will do, and then we do what we said. And friends, to make this point, I want to spend a bit of time to ensure that you always remember. We have done a lot to be proud of. Let's never forget, n'oublions jamais. Never forget. This is the party, the only party that's lowered taxes for Canadian families and keeping them down. Never forget, this is the party, the only party that has lowered taxes for Canadians and is keeping them down. Every step of the way, the other guys, the Liberals, the NDP, they were all against it, but we started, as we promised, by cutting the GST from 7 to 6 to 5 percent. And never forget that because of the hard work on tax cuts by Conservative and only Conservative members of Parliament, opposed by all of the other parties, Aujourd'hui, une famille moyenne de quatre personnes. Today, an average family of four people pays 3,000 taxes lower each year than when we came into office. A typical family of four pays more than $3,000 less in taxes than when we came to office. <laughs> That's car payments for a year. Now, friends, my advisor suggests that I go through all the taxes the Liberals and the NDP have proposed raising, but we've only got this haul until tomorrow. <laughs> Let's never forget that this is the only party that gets childcare and knows who's best qualified to make decisions for our children. <laughs> we took money out of the hands of lobbyists, academics, and bureaucrats and we gave it to the real child care experts, and their names are mom and dad. And that's why our government created and maintains, against the wishes of all the opposition parties, the universal child care benefit, putting $100 a month directly in the families of, of, of those children government created and maintains against the wishes of all the opposition parties. The universal child care benefit, putting $100 a month per preschool child directly into the pockets of Canadian families. And let's never forget that it's only our party, it's the only party that's not promoting centralization because it respects provincial jurisdiction. It's also our government, unlike the Liberals and the NDP, which gave to Quebec the place, uh, which is its rightful place for the UNESCO, which dealt with the fiscal imbalance, that uh, resolved the issue of harmonized sales taxes, that finally gave Quebec the lands of the National Assembly that secured a deal, the old Harry, and that recognized the Quebec nation and Quebec nationhood. Les Québécois, les Québécois. Quebecers know that our government is as good as its word, that we defend our two national languages and francophone
community internationally. And friends, let's never forget, this is the only party that believes in taking action to keep our children and communities safe. With the Liberals and the NDP fighting us every step of the way, our Safe Streets and Communities Act cracked down on repeat violent offenders, sexual predators, and drug traffickers, and we passed it in the first 100 sitting days of Parliament, just as we promised Canadians. My friends, let us never forget that we're the only party who believes that those who commit crimes really have to do the time in prison and not in that home. Never forget, this is the one party that believes those who do the crime should do the time. And that... that the rights of victims and law-abiding citizens should count for more than the so-called rights of criminals. The Liberals and the NDP voted against us, but we eliminated, for example, house arrest and sentencing discounts for violent and repeat offenders. The Liberals and the NDP voted against it, but we eliminated house arrest and sentencing discounts for violent and repeat criminal offenders. And friends, let's not ever forget that only this party understands that you don't prevent gun crimes in our cities by cracking down on duck hunters. The NDP and the Liberals fought desperately to keep it, but it was only this party, this party's MPs, and this party's MPs alone that finally ended and is the only party that will never bring back the wasteful and ineffective long gun registry. Let's also never forget, while I'm here in Alberta, that ours is the party that stood up for the right of prairie grain farmers to sell their own products. Once again, the opposition fought us every step of the way, but it was our government that once and for all ended the wheat board monopoly and gave our farmers the freedom they deserve. Let's never forget that only this party takes to heart the debt owed to our brave men and women in uniform. The NDP and the Liberals have opposed us at every turn with every investment. May not the government conservateur down off. But our Conservative Force government is giving the Canadian Armed Forces the respect they deserve and the equipment they need. Conservative government is giving the Canadian Armed Forces the respect they deserve and the equipment they need. I listened to the roll call before I came out here from all across, the can all across Canada. Let's never forget that this is the party that understands that Canada's greatest dreams lie in our highest latitudes. Les libéraux et le NPD en votent contre. The Liberals and the NDP voted against us, but our government's northern strategy is still moving forward. Against it, but our government's northern strategy moves forward. 
In every territory, we're fostering opportunity, development, and prosperity, preserving our Arctic lands and marine areas, projecting Canada's presence and defending our sovereignty, and something I'm particularly proud of. We are finally finishing the Dempster Highway so that our country will finally be connected by road from the Atlantic to the Pacific and all the way to the Arctic coast. Let's never forget that ours is the party that restored representation by population in the House of Commons while protecting the seats of the slower growing provinces. The Liberals and the NDP voted against it. But we have restored this basic principle of democracy in Ontario, British Columbia, and here in Alberta. <laughs> Friends, let's also never forget that it was this party that took real action to clean up the mess the Liberals left behind. Despite their obstruction, we brought into place the toughest piece of federal ethics legislation in Canadian history. We passed the Federal Accountability Act. And friends, while I'm on this subject, let me address the Senate. On it is party. We're the only party that really tried to reform the Senate. Party that has tried to reform the Senate. We were blocked by the other parties in the minority parliaments, and we're now being blocked in the courts. So, friends, it is time for the Senate to show it can reform itself, something the vast majority of Conservative senators want to do. They have begun by demanding greater transparency in Senate expenses. And what that is showing is that there are a few senators who have collected inappropriate expense reimbursements to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. This was done knowingly or without regard to the rules over a long period of time. These senators have shown little or no remorse for their actions. In private life, you would be fired for doing anything resembling this. And Liberal Senators continue to block action. Mais le Sénat devrait faire ce qu'il doit, dès maintenant. But the Senate should do the right thing now and suspend those Senators without pay. Do the right thing now and suspend those Senators without pay. very clear here tonight. As Conservatives, we believe that actions have consequences. Whether you're parliamentarians or members of staff, Canadians expect that people be held accountable. Parliamentarian or a staff member, Canadians expect, I expect that people be held accountable for their actions. You know, You know, friends, and just on this, you've probably noticed this. You've probably noticed this. You know, every single week, I face demands from our opponents that we immediately fire or expel people, often on the flimsiest of allegations. Then, when we decide that a case based on the facts requires serious sanction, our opponents immediately accuse us of being unfair, nasty, and ruthless. And then they portray the offenders as victims or even martyrs. Now, friends, friends, what all of this tells us and what it tells me, in terms of such opponents, 
I couldn't care less what they say. We will do the right thing. for your unqualified support. Mes chers amis, nous gouvernons... My friends, we govern in the interest and for the good of every part of our great country. Unlike other parties, we never play one region against another. Canadians unite in desire to build their country. And that's why our party recognizes the dynamism of Canada. And it's in that spirit that our party recognized the dynamism, the pride, and the importance of the great Quebec nation. I want to think of 2015. My hope and my goal is to see far more Quebecers voting for us, as Francophones outside Quebec have already done. They've worked with us within the Canadian Federation, making major decisions. kept our promises to Canadians. En fait, nous avons pris plus de... We made more than 100 specific commitments during the 2011 campaign, and in just two years, we've delivered on 86 of them. We made more than 100 specific commitments to Canadians during the 2011 election campaign. In just two years, we have already delivered on 86 of those commitments. <laughs> The latest was, of course, exactly two weeks ago today, when I shared a stage in Brussels with President Barroso of the European Union. I was there to announce the successful conclusion of negotiations for a free trade agreement between Canada and Europe. The Canada-European trade agreement is even larger and even more ambitious than the North American free trade agreement. The European Union trade agreement is even larger and more ambitious than the North American free trade agreement. It is an agreement that will mean more choice and lower prices for hardworking families. An an agreement that will be more choice for Canadians. To create tens of thousands of new jobs for Canadians. As I said two weeks ago, this is a very big deal. Or as the Canadian Association of Manufacturers and Exporters put it, I like this one. The Wayne Gretzky of trade deals. With the completion of this agreement, our government has expanded the number of countries with which Canada will have free trade agreements from 5 to 42. Canada will now have free trade access to over 1 billion consumers over half of the global marketplace. Mes amis, mes amis, sous notre gouvernement, le Canada... My friends, under our government, Canada now has one of the best-run advanced economies with some of the best prospects in the entire world. That's our record. Under our government, Canada now has 
one of the best run advanced economies with some of the best prospects in the entire world. That is our record. And friends, let me use that record and let me use this achievement, the Canada-Europe Trade Agreement, to put into perspective the choices Canadians will face in the next election. What are the choices? The NDP? Would the NDP have ever made a trade deal with Europe? The NDP can't even figure out whether it supports free trade even with the United States. The NDP have ever made a trade deal with Europe? The NDP, the NDP can't even figure out whether it supports free trade with the United States. And Justin Trudeau. Ask a Justin. Could Justin Trudeau run the economy? Economy. In 2015, we're not choosing the winner of Canadian Idol. What we're choosing is someone to run our economy. In 2015, friends, we're not choosing the winner of Canadian Idol. We're choosing someone to lead our economy. to say it. You know, the only trade policy Justin Trudeau's been working on is the marijuana trade. <laughs> so friends, work hard on the things that matter. Deal with problems as they arise. And Canadians will understand in the next election that the only choice, le seul choix, not the only choice to keep our country and our economy on the right track is the Conservative Party of Canada. The only choice, the only choice to keep our country and our economy on the right track is this, the Conservative Party of Canada. This, friends, this, friends, is what we were sent to Ottawa to do, and we are doing it. Le Canada est le chef de file du G7. Canada leads the G7 in job creation. Creation. Canada leads the G7 on the strength of our balance sheet. Canada leads the G7 in political stability. Mais pour notre génération et celle de nos enfants. But for our generation and our children's generation, it won't be good enough just to lead the G7. Canada has to be ready to face the rising powers, new powers. In the future, it will not be good enough to top the G7. We face new competition from rising economic powers, so we will not stop now. For Canada to prosper through the challenges of this uncertain world, we must do more, we must go farther, and we must go faster. C'est pourquoi... C'est pourquoi notre... And that's why, in our recent speech from the throne, we presented our vision for the future. Why our recent speech from the throne set out our vision for the future. Now, friends, when we say vision, we don't mean some ivory tower theory. That's what passes for vision among Ottawa elites. For something to be called visionary in Ottawa, it has to be a new government program with a multi-billion dollar price tag, and usually completely impractical to boot, with no benefits for ordinary taxpayers or working Canadian families. So my friends, our government's vision is to secure real prosperity for real people. It is about securing real prosperity for real people.
It's about making sure that Canada is leading the world. Pour que les familles canadiennes qui travaillent. It's the Canadian families that work hard, that pay their taxes and play by the rules so they can benefit from this, so they can move forward. Work hard, pay their taxes and play the rules so that they can benefit, so that they can get ahead. Now, friends, Canadian families work hard to balance their budgets. So do we. And notre gouvernement est en voie de qualité. And our government is balancing the budget for 2015. It's on track and on time. We're going to achieve a balanced budget in 2015, as promised, on schedule. Enshrine in law our successful and prudent approach. Nous allons présenter une loi. We're going to present legislation to balance the budget. Introduce balanced budget legislation in this country. <laughs> We're controlling the cost of government. We're freezing operating budgets. We're restraining hiring. And nous alignons la rémunération de la fonction publique. And we're bringing public service compensation into line with what people get in the private sector. Compensation into line with the private sector. <laughs> and friends, I should mention, you know, one of the first things we did to do that, that our members of parliament don't get enough credit for because they led it under this government and through our caucus. We have finally changed the law so members of parliament finally pay the full share of the MP pension plan. We're creating jobs by putting more money into connecting employers with job seekers and less money into bureaucracy. We're bringing in more immigrants based on the skills Canadian employers need. And friends in this party, in a united Canada, we accept immigrants who work hard, who want to see their kids get ahead, and who come here to be Canadian. Nous acceptons les nouveaux venus en So we accept new members as full, equal members of our Canadian family. Members as full and equal members of our Canadian family. We are also responsibly developing Canada's abundant natural resources, the development that pays for our hospitals, our schools, our social services, development that employs hundreds of thousands of Canadians from coast to coast to coast. And at the same time, we're preserving lands and marine areas and protecting the environment we as Canadians care so deeply about. Dans ce parti, on refuse l'idée in this party, we won't accept environmental protection as possible only at the cost of economic development. We want both. We will not accept that environmental protection must stop economic development. We must have both. And we support and protect Canadian families because we understand the financial problems that families face. Supporting and protecting Canadian families. We understand the financial dilemmas and choices that Canadians face. And we know that families are better placed to make spending decisions than governments. That's why we lower taxes across the board and why we're balancing the budget without raising them. C'est pourquoi nous agissons pour protéger and that's why we're acting to protect Canadian consumers and their hard-earned money. We've been taking action to protect Canadian consumers and their hard-earned money. Why we're taking action on hidden fees. That's why we will ensure Canadians can choose the TV channels they actually want to watch. That's why we're bringing more choice and lower prices 
to our wireless sector because it is what is best for families, for businesses, and for this country, Canada. And my friends, we're also continuing our unprecedented efforts to keep our families and communities safe. Friends, we're also continuing our unprecedented efforts to keep our families and communities safe. We know that government exists to protect law-abiding citizens. The justice system exists to defend victims, not to help criminals. That's why. That's why during the last session of Parliament, we passed no less than 14 pieces of legislation to protect Canadians and their families. Now we're going further. Nous allons présenter une déclaration des droits des victimes. We will introduce a Victims' Bill of Rights. Bill of Rights. We, we will end sentencing discounts for child predators and for the worst, dangerous, violent offenders. We will ensure a life sentence means a sentence for life. Finally, my, my friends, we Conservatives, we will always stand for the great confederation that we founded. Always stand for this great confederation that we founded. We will always put Canada first, whether that is supporting the men and women who wear the uniform of the Canadian Armed Forces today or have done so in the past, whether that means asserting our sovereignty over our entire landmass, the entire mass of this vast, beautiful country. Defendre, que ce soit populaire ou non. Dans defend Canada, whether that means whether it's popular or not, we will defend Canadian interests, Canadian values on the world stage. Whether it is popular or not in foreign capitals, standing up for Canadian interests and Canadian values on the world stage. My fellow Conservative friends, these are great days to be Canadian with great days ahead. In the next few years, we will mark great anniversaries, the great anniversaries of Canada's defense of freedom, from Queenston Heights to Vimy Ridge and Juneau Beach to Cap Yon. Our 12-year mission in Afghanistan will soon be complete. Our troops are coming home with honor. will go in search of Olympic glory, and we will see them wearing Canada's new colors, not just red and white, but bronze, silver, and gold. And we will join together to celebrate the bicentennial of the founding fathers of our country, Georges Etienne Cartier and Johnny MacDonald. 17, we will join together to celebrate the 150th anniversary of one of the world's most enduring democracies, Notre Canada, le meilleur pays au monde. Our country, the best country in the world. In the world. Let me just conclude with this. We have a strategy, we are focused, and our plan is working. We're building a Canada which is ever stronger, ever safer, and better still. Stronger, safer, and better. And my fellow Conservatives, for your service to our country, I thank you. I know that is why, Canada, that is why you do it. 
Ours is not the party of entitlement, not guided by power or privilege, and we never should be. Au Parti conservateur, le service public... In our party, public service must mean individual sacrifice. Service must mean private sacrifice. That's why Lorene and I first left our home here in Calgary. We didn't go to Ottawa to join private clubs or become part of some elite. That's not who you are and it is not who we are. We're in Ottawa only so the government of Canada can serve you and your families. And I tell you, we have an opportunity now, notwithstanding all the troubles in the world economy around us, to secure a prosperous Canada for our generation and for our children's and for all those unsung Canadians, the cab drivers, the small business owners, the farmers and foresters and fishermen, the factory and office workers, the seniors who have spent their lives contributing, those honest, decent, hardworking Canadians, old or new, old and new, these are the Canadians for whom we strive and we in this party will never forget that. And friends, this great Canada we want to build will take every ounce of dedication that we can muster. Friends, the greater Canada for which we aim will take every ounce of dedication we can muster. But for us as Conservatives, there can be no higher purpose. So let's get to it. Merci et à la prochaine. God bless all of you for all you've done. God bless Canada.